Hello fellow YouTubers and hello fellow ESO gamers. Coming back with another video, I, I can see that they released, this came out on the 17th, which was today. It says, greetings gangs, we have some changes coming in update 26 combat preview. Um, for this particular video, I'm just going to briefly, briefly discuss uh, two points here, two pain points of mine. Um, there's a lot here, and I'll leave it, I'll leave a... A link in the description. Of course, this is your first time. Be feel free to like, comment, and of course, subscribe. Uh, we're going to be talking about ESO. We're going to be touching on some of the PvP changes. So, they're talking about um, healing, right? It says here uh, in this update, we're making some adjustments to critical resistance and healing affecting PvP specifically, right? It says over the years, we've seen healing become quite volatile, and this is primarily because of the P because of the developers. Why has healing become, as they say, quite volatile in PvP? It's because the developers keep on uh, buffing healing. So by nature, um, you're going to see healing come out of control because you keep buffing it. Right? Shit ain't that complicated, man. Right? It says PvP with the ability to negate high amounts of damage in just one ability cast for many players at once. And so primarily, what he, what this developer is talking about. Is breath of life right and so saying instead of instead of coming out and saying like breath of life op they're just like kind of being like uh they're just kind of like lying to the community you know it's like yeah, there's, there's a whole bunch of these other abilities out here that you press one button and you know someone's hp bar swings to full and it's like no it's breath of life man it's breath of life and then of course the new breath of life that they gave to sorks via the matriarch pet so now we have two different classes with breath of life and of course, it says this. Uh, it says this isn't just just one ability. It's just that causes this type of health. Really, I mean, is it vigor? Is it vigor that causes people to go from like fifteen percent health to go to full? No, it's breath of life, right? It says the ability causes this type of to, to swing. It says we are making adjustments to battle spirit, reducing everyone's uh, healing. Instead of fifty percent, it's now going to be sixty percent reduced. Rip Magdi K that already struggles with healing. Rip Magic and Nightblade that already struggles with healing. No burst heal relies on some healing over time. Rip to your healing. What about Stamblade? Stamblade also doesn't have access um, to a burst heal, right? And yet another class that doesn't have access to uh, burst healing. And of course, it really doesn't affect um, most Stam Stam builds that much, especially classes like Stam DK that have access to 100% uptime on major mending and they can run around with you know 6k weapon damage no problem and have like 30k vigor tooltips no problem but yeah everybody else everybody else you're gonna all gonna get nerfed <clears throat> at the same time so instead of kind of like a surgeon right the the ability of a good uh, the ability of a good game developer is being able to pinpoint right just like a surgeon <clears throat> just like a surgeon can pinpoint and see uh, what part of the body maybe needs to be cut out because it's it's gangrenous, right? It's 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 rotting, and there's a, there's a part of the intestine I need to cut out just that little just that little piece of the intestine, and then we'll reattach it. We'll sew you back up. You're good as new. Instead, we're gonna throw <clears throat> everybody out, right? E everybody's healing. You just lose 10% um, as a as a try trying to make adjustments um, to the healing. So instead of pointing to and saying breath of life op, matriarch heal op. Maybe you can say like Vines. Vines is cheap as fuck. It's, it costs so little and it heals so much and heals everybody, right? Instead of saying uh, Resto Alt OP and BRP Staff OP, they're just saying, well, everybody just loses 10%. And this is uh, the signs of, and primarily I, I've spoken of this before, when ESO the population swings and, and this happens in every single game. In every single game that's like an MMO that has PvP in it, but then the PvPers start to leave because the developers aren't making good changes towards PvP, and then you start introducing PvEers, and PvEers are like, oh, we want more content, right? What happened with New World is a perfect example where you got a little too few many PvEers who were in their alpha, and then they were like, wow, I got face rolled at the spawn, and I, and I, and I want PvE, PvE, PvP nerfed, and then you hear New World developers saying our new focus is now on PVE, and then we're going to sprinkle a little bit of uh, a little bit of opt-in PVP um, to the mix. 
And this is exactly what I spoke of, that this is what happens. When the pendulum of the population swings too far into one direction, the developers just can't come out and say, Breath of Life OP, or BRP Resto Alt or P OP, or uh, Resto Alt, you know, is overperforming. Primarily because most of their population will just come out with their pitchforks, uh, you know, and torches, pitchforks, uh, torches and pitchforks, and be like, "Why you keep, why you nerfing me, bro? Like you keep nerfing me because of PV, because of PVP." And again, PVP takes another tick down. The other thing that I wanted to discuss is talking about um, critical resistance changes. So, critical resistance was nerfed. Um, the amount of imp, imp pen that you got was nerfed previously. It was nerfed a couple of years ago, and then so they're nerfing it again. Uh, and they're doing that to make room for other traits, right? Because other traits overperform, underperform, uh, and because critical critical damage is so high, right? And that's primarily as a result of the developer, right? The, the uh, critical damage modifier is 1.5, and then classes, for example, like um, classes like uh, like uh, uh, Nightblade and uh, a Templar have access to an additional 10% critical damage. So now their critical modifier is 1.6, right? And then you everybody runs Race Against Time, so now everybody's uh, critical modifier is now 1.7, right? So that that is why most people tend to run either like high mitigation with like percent mitigation, or they run around with like perma block builds, or they run around with high impin to avoid a lot of the critical damage because then they get spiked down. Now, of course, this is going to affect all those people. Like if you've, if you've golden out, you golden out your impen sense, well, get ready to farm some transmute stones because as it says, we're making adjust changes to uh, changes to the impenetrable trait by nerfing it, right? When they're nerfing again, um, the impen value so that people take more damage. So now everybody has less healing and then I'll, everybody is going to have some changes to their impen but they did say um that they were going to give everybody it says the other um it says this means more popular in other traits this is to be more uh viable stat combinations into pvp and play we are now granting a baseline critical resistance so you get critical resistance um from the cp system which means that you'll now move perhaps some of those points out of the cp tree into critical and then maybe you'll put them into things um that reduce like damage over time or uh physical damage over time or magic damage over time or elemental damage over time um, so this will cause other problems for people to take uh take those points out that they would normally put into the cp tree into critical resistance and maybe they would put them into like healing received right healing received or whichever is the, in the in the red tree i don't do a lot of pvp and cp but Whichever the healing the healing node is um, in the red tree for healing, maybe they'll put more more points into that, or maybe they'll move. So I think it'll eventually create more problems than anything. Um, but my primary issue is is right here. My primary issue is right here. Instead of just making adjustments based off of abilities that are overperforming, they're just nerfing everybody. And Mag DK already struggles with damage, and now it or and now it's going to struggle. Uh, open world even more with healing due to the changes of battle spirit same thing magic with magic and night blade this will make things like um, health regen more important than it than it was before people who are losing out on additional 10 percent healing will probably put uh, maybe a little bit more points into um, health regen because health regen isn't going to be nerfed um, but the healing the healing is and healing and health regen is also not nerfed via battle spirit either so you'll probably see people maybe supplement the loss of the 10% here, but some classes can't. Like Mag DK already struggles uh, with quite a bit of a lacking of damage. They've also had their um, their dots nerfed because of uh, as the standardization. Where is it? Um, here is the item that they're talking about. Uh, item item standardization, and there's a whole list of like other stupid stuff that they're putting into this like for example werewolves are now going to have an execute based off of bleeds um but i'm, I'm going to leave a copy of it I'll, I'll leave i'll leave the link in the description uh it's very unfortunate that uh that new world got uh so unfortunate that new world got pushed back till i think august it's not gonna be not you know we're not gonna be able to play it till august but 
just so many so many bad changes for all the people who get ready to farm uh, vet maelstrom arena all over again for all of you guys who want to get the perfected to min max your builds get ready for all of the uh the pve the pveers to complain that why i can't why can't i get the perfected i can't complete you know the vet it's, it's just like my, my other question is here is a good example they're changing tremor scale so instead of snaring you it's now going to reduce physical resistance but it requires you to to it requires you to taunt right with with the pierce armor ability but the pierce armor ability already reduces uh physical resistance i don't know i don't know anyway i'm gonna leave it there thanks for watching feel free to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna be coming out with some more content now that i am uh i'm a little i'm on my I'm on vacation for the next couple of days so i'm gonna try to put out some more content before i have to go back into the trenches um, that is nursing in the coronavirus pandemic thanks for watching take care god bless